Are you very good? Thank you, Emerald. How are you? Uh, he's good, he's sleeping. He's had a busy day. Hello, Fionn. Yes, let's totally be friends. Never met you before in my life, but sure, let's be friends. Bonjour, Farron. <laughs> nice to see you popping by. Yes, always good to make friends. <laughs> the more friends you have, the better. Right, okay, I know where I'm at now. <laughs> Fionn, that's gay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kidding. Right, Dan. I'm only gonna do like a really quick stream today. Just for last day, yeah, like if we sleep. And afterwards, I'm going back to Genshin. <laughs> so I haven't played today. I need to play it. So I keep getting asked in all my streams to show people how I draw my walls. Um, I don't know why because I think my art style does not really, you know, it's not really that good to copy, but. Uh, I'll explain the best I can because I usually don't use grid lines or anything. Yes, yeah, Stella, I've been lost to Genshin Hole now. I might have spent some money on it as well. It's really bad. <laughs> Fiona has it worse than me, definitely. <laughs> Oh my god, you're playing and, and watching me stream at the same time. Oh dear. Move that one over a bit because I need that one. <laughs> Laughed and deleted. Oh god. <laughs> That's why I had to get a one terabyte PS4 because I needed I need the space for the games. I've got the Hogwarts Legacy coming out at the end of the year, so well <laughs> I need the space for that too. Right, anyway, I'ma get started then. As soon as I finish I can get back to the engine. <laughs> right, so first I'm gonna do uh, how I draw heads, I guess, like a different position. But afterwards, I'm going to just like fill the, these two, and then I'll get started on drawing my OT. I need to find the ref actually. I need to do that. I do that really quick. Er. Let's just casually turn my Bluetooth on for a second. Try to find the girly where ever she is. There she is. There we go. Got it. Okie dokie, I'll see you guys later. Okay. So the first one I'm going to start off with is, um, I'd say a, a three quarter one, because that's like my normal a style, I guess, that I like to do. I think I'm more comfortable doing like a three quarter angle, I guess. So I'll start with that one. And then I'll move on to sideways and then front ways. But my school's harder. 
for me anyway, because I struggle with the side And in a front position, but I'll leave that there for a second because I need that. Right, so I didn't really use grid lines and such. So I'll only use like a this sort of one. If I can get it right. So I'll just draw that a line there and then another one there. Oh, that's in the wrong second first one's in the wrong place. There we go. So I don't really use grid lines. Not particularly, but I am on this occasion. So, first thing I do is draw the snoot, I guess. This is a long snoot. Oop. A bit longer than that. <laughs> so, I just draw a straight line out and then a curve round, and then that's where the nose would be there. And Sort of diag like a diagonal down, and then I go round and back to the circle. So it's kind of like um, is it a prism? It's not a prism, is it? Is it a prism? I don't know. Whatever shape this is, <laughs> I haven't been in school in ages, so excuse me. I forgot what the shapes are called. Uh, well, this shape, whatever it's called, rhombus, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know anymore. Send help. Um, but yeah, it's just a straight line uh, around it for the, the, where the nose would be, then a diagonal shape down, and then back around, and then straight back to the circle. And then... Wrong, but that might be it. <laughs> I like I said, I forgot the shape. Send help. It's been ages since school. <laughs> oh my god! If anybody's following this, please please send me a message of what you managed to do, <laughs> because I would love to see. Um, and if you have any questions, please just ask me, because it might be able to help explain a bit better. I'm not too good at this. Um, not right. So that's where the no the snoot is. Um, because this is like um, I say like a free quarter, I always draw the nose sticking out a bit more. Uh, I'm gonna keep the stream up. I'm gonna keep this like I'm gonna keep this up so people can see because I don't think I'll be able to do it again. But yeah, I'll keep it up so everybody can like. Go in and see. I'll also edit it a bit because I know my voice will sound a bit quiet at the minute. <laughs> Thank you, Emerald. Er er I'm from England. <laughs> so just let let me know what, how you how you get on. I'd love to know. Right. So I'm going to draw the nose now. So because this is the well, it's not really free quarter, but I'll leave that there so you can see. So I always do draw that's in the wrong place. Emma, come on, wakey wakey. Uh just erase that a second. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Best of luck. Right, so I always go from where the line and the curve start. Well the same where I would just do that tiny tiny little arrow and I always do around like a and then a line, and then round, and then back up, if anybody got that. <laughs> so, round, little curve, diagonal, and then another sort of semicircle, and a little flat bit where the nose ends, and then back up. And then you can draw a little nostril if you like. I mean, I might stretch that out just a little bit. Just a little bit. So it's a little bigger. Don't want a tiny nose. And there we go, little nose. I really hope I don't have hot art block in the middle of this. That will not go well. <laughs> right, and then I always draw, like, 
a little net line where the just where the top of the nose is. Okay. Yes, I agree. It's the, it's honestly the most worst thing. Try to you have the energy to do something and then you just can't. Awful. Right, and I'm just going to lighten that a second while I draw the mouth on. So for the mouth, always do always do a little line just opposite to where the slot bit is, and it depends on if you want. You want to frown, and you can have a frown. Look, I usually do a little smile. No, some smile. <laughs> there we go, and just uh, another side for the other side of the cheek. That's what I always do. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the uh, the mouth bar. And then for the chin, I I make it fluffy. You don't have to. Some I know that some people would love them a bit like this. Really, you don't really have any like. You don't really have a fluffy chin. My I draw my uh, OCs with fluffy chins. It's just how my style ends up. So we we'll always do some like zigzag lines. Maybe not that much, a bit more zigzag lines, and then following that to a line I drew there. And that's just slowly joining it back up. And you can just erase this, this line here. You don't need that anymore. Um, I was going to do a half turn, but this is kind of like a half turn. You'll just turn, you just draw the nose, obviously, without this bit. You wouldn't have this bit, it'll just be the, this if it was a half. Just, yeah, the nose will look like that if it was halfway, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'll just do the front in, in a minute. Right, now, the rest of um, my art style goes, I have like, the cheek area, which I always draw another little rounded semicircle sort of thing. But not that one, there we go. And then from there, we must do some more zigzags where the fur is. So, this is the cheek fur, <laughs> cheek fur how I draw it here. So you can have as much as you want, you can do them long like I've just done, or you can do like extra ones and stuff like that, so you can be even more fluffy. Or you can just two big ones, because, you know, why not? I think that I'm going to leave it like that for now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and if anyone has any questions, please just stop me and ask because I don't want to not make sense or anything. Right, so next I'm going to go on to an eye. Uh, I'll do that here actually, just so we can show. Oh, not that one, that one. I'm just going to erase this. I don't need this circle now, I'm just going to draw a halfway point but it's the original point. Like for the eyes uh, I draw like a little triangle on like kind of like a claw shape uh, for the start of the eye. And then I'll go up and round. Probably help if I actually draw a red line. There we go. I'll start again now. Take more that bit. <laughs> start again. Right, so. Little claw, like a claw shape. Yeah, you can probably just draw a claw like that, I guess. <laughs> and then. Round. And then I always draw the top a bit more rounder than the bottom bit, so it's a bit more flat. Oh, you can just draw it flat. If 
you like it. And then I'll go round and then up a bit past the other one and then another little triangle down. That's just how I draw a wolf eye because you know they have a wolf will have like black rims around their eyes and that's just my interpretation of how I um would draw that that sort of thing. So yeah. Just move that a little less light round so it fits in. And then for the, the actual pupil I always do just a little oval shape. Again, that's just how I how I draw. I usually tr like shape this in at like fifty percent opacity, and then add a, like a little fifty no a fifty percent over as well in like black. Just that's how I <laughs> draw my eyes. Uh, I'm trying to show one minute. Actually, so I've always got my oh, I've always got my eye, and then over. It was over like that, even though I didn't go with 52% the wrong way then. That makes no sense. So the eye should look like that. In in that. <laughs> but yeah, that's just how I roll my pupils. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with it, it just happened, it's just what happened. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to move this over to the drawing now, so. I would usually put the eye around there, so it's sort of level with those two lines, these two lines here. Well, just on the top of the grid line, just about there. There we go. I'm just going to draw on the grid lines a second, you know, just isn't much in it. Oops. I've got the hiccups now, it's not good. There we go. I'm just gonna read through this bit and make it a little bit more curved. As well. So it fits a little better. Okie dokie. And again, just recapping this new, just the line, and then I have the line here, just a bit dark. And then the nose is round, small diagonal down, and then again, another little line, and then back down to the corner, and then nostril, if you feel like it. And this nose bit. Okay, then that's fine now. Yep, that's fine. Right, so next bit I'm going to do is an ear. Um, usually I do some ears about here. Uh, it's just in a random, very random place, I think. <laughs> well, just about all of this line. Now, I usually draw my wolf ears down. That's just how I've always drawn, drawn them. Especially with my OC Edward because he's quite timid, so I always draw his ears down. So ears down would be really a curve line like that, and then curve up and then around. That was terrible there. Sorry, that was terrible. Uh, there we go. Down and around, and then just join it back up to where the cheek area is. And that's how I draw a, a downward ear. That's like push it down. Like they're pushing it back really far. Well, you can do just this, like down stuff. Oh, the baby is coughing. And then there's just down, just relaxed, sort of down. Where else? Another, another way, I guess. <laughs> and then for up, I find up. Like up ears a little bit harder, so I always draw up ears against this bit of the eye. So do a straight line up. You can be as big as you like. 
little rounded bit here, then down. And then from there, just a little curved out, and then round again. Not that much, uh, this much, you can see. And then we'll draw a little bit of fluff as well, to keep me there. I'm just going to make this a bit more diagonal than straight. There we go. So that's an ear. <laughs> and then for the inside of the ear, just a little, little line. Then in. And then it's kind of like a little, little curved, curvy line. So up, down, up. And then just on the same bit of the line. Just draw down. Nice converted to be. There we go. I hope I hope that this is making sense. And then inside, you can draw inside the inside the ear. I like to draw inside the ear. Just draw a bit of fluff and then just always draw it back in to the ear sort of. Well, I just do it linked to this cheap bit as well. You can. There you go. And then that's how I draw my ear, sort of. I feel like my art block kicked in there. <laughs> Usually I draw them a bit different than that. Okie doke. I could. I hope I'm making sense, honestly. I feel like I'm not making sense a little bit. Uh, I just don't. I don't like that. I'm just going to correct it. Make this a bit more rounded. I don't normally draw ears up, so excuse me a second. There we go. That looks a little better. Now I don't normally draw the heads like a normal wolf as well. I mean. A normal wolf head will be a bit like this. So you'd go up from where the nose is and then round it out a little bit. Because the heads are. I feel like the wolf head's kind of like that. So that would be like a typical shape for a normal wolf, I would say. But um, because my art style is. I draw hair, like hair fluff. So with my hair fluff, I fluff, I usually curve, make little zigzags. We've got the curve up, and then I always fluff it down in just zigzag motions, and then link back where the circle ends here. And that's just how I draw, how I draw my fur, I guess, on the head. And obviously you got an eyebrow too. It's a cartoony wolf, they have eyebrows. <laughs> so yeah, there's a head for... Oh, and I forget you can draw another ear, which is just another curve, curve round and then turn down. Maybe not in that place. Bear with me. So up and round. There we go, and that's how I draw my wolf head. I'm gonna correct it a little bit because I'm not happy with how it looks, but it's a sort of you know, the basic premise of where I'm going. I might just make it a little bigger, just to match the head. Bear with me. Again, everybody would usually find their own style when they're drawing, so... Don't worry if it's not matching mine. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm just going to go over this eye as well, make it a bit neater. Now the OC I'm drawing is a girl, so I always draw the lilash. <laughs> I do, it should be in the description, I think. I think I've put it in this description. No, I haven't. Bear with me, I'll do that. I mean, it's not the most active, but... Everybody shares all their art and stuff in there, so it's it's a nice quiet little hangout spot.
There we go. If you refresh the page, it should be there. There we go. Okie dokie. I'd love to see when you're done. Right, I'm going to move on now to the front way. Now, the front way is something I struggle with a little bit. So it's not really... So if I'm not clear again, just please just let me know. But just letting you know that I do struggle a little bit. <laughs> so bear with me. So I always use the, at the minute I'm using the symmetry roller just because it's helpful. No, you don't have to. It's just, it just helps me a little bit. Cause I, can't, I can't draw the other eye. I'm guilty. Guilty for not being able to draw another eye. <laughs> So I'm just going to add the lines that we need on a different layer in there. Thank you. Right, so I'm just going to add a line, red line sort of thing, here to sort of where this, sort of where the start of this nuke would be. Okay. So. I'm going to start with the nose, because usually I always start with the nose. It's just how, how I do it. So, I'm going to draw it looking a bit slightly down. So, I'm going to start the nose here. Again, it's a curve. Down, then round it in, and then a little, little line at the bottom. And then nostrils, I guess. <laughs> um, and then the top of the where the snoot is, I always draw one curved line just to show where it starts and then these lines sort of match uh, these here. Again this might not turn out great because it's, it's quite difficult. Oops, I'm just going to make this a bit lower down. There we go, just so it matches the circles a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to start drawing the bottom of where the snoot is. So, little lines, and then out to the mouth. It's just a slightly curved line, and then a flick up. And that's the mouth, like the mouth, like the cheek area, mouth, cheek area. There we go, and then back round up. Just that's just where the 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 muzzle. That's the word, not the snoot. <laughs> well, it could be a snoot. And then for the chin, and some more fluffy. That's how my that's how my art style is. But you can do just a, a round shape, like a, a normal wolf, I guess. But I'm just going to do me some normal zigzags. There we go. Just going to bring this up just a little bit. There we go. Now for the cheeks, I usually do this bit next. Everyone here. So from the bottom of the circle. I'll do diagonal and then up, kind of like a another little oval shape, but with a bit of an angle at this bit here. There we go. Okay, and then at the top of this, so about here. Well, you can do it on it if you. Uh, up to you guys. Um, some more cheek glue, like these bits here. So again, it's just round, down, round, down, and round, and I'm just going to get back here. And there's some cheeky glue. <laughs> I told you I wasn't the best at explaining. I'm trying. <laughs> Right, so next I'm going to do the eyes. So eyes usually sit about here. 
so I'm doing the same way I did with this bit which I'll do again just in a like a little form again I can't draw the upper eye that's why I've got the symmetry line <laughs> also it helps a lot <laughs> Uh, so I want to get a kind of a little claw shape. I'm just gonna level me pen. So another claw shape, just so it's match matching with that line where this note starts here. And then a little oval, a, little, a straight line that goes round, up, and then down for a bit has the wolf's eyes are sort of obviously not this isn't true to all wolf obviously it's a cartoon it's a cartoon but again this is how I like to draw on with these black like rims of the eyes that a wolf will have. I'm just gonna colour them in a bit just to feel like it. <laughs> now I always draw them at a little bit of an angle and it's front ways but again you can you can draw it along this line here, so it's there a bit more, more flat. I might actually move them like that later, but for now I just leave them as they are. Uh, and then eyebrow. <laughs> it's cartoon. We have eyebrow. And then if the pupils are another oval shape, you can draw them wherever they're looking. Obviously, be mindful you. If you are drawing them looking a different way using the symmetry, or they look derpy, <laughs> like this, <laughs> very derpy. <laughs> and so this is a female, so I'm just drawing some eyelashes. Okay, now I'm going to go to the ears, and it's the same again. Uh, diagonal up. Little around little curve here, then back down as like in a little oval curve. You know, let's add some fur at the bottom, and then little line here, and a wavy line. There we go. And always try and link this up as well to the to the fur. I think. Yeah, you don't really have to, it's just how I draw how I do it so the fur hair inside the ear stays where it is. So again, yeah, little another little zigzaggy line to the fluff inside the ear. Again, you don't have to draw it like that, you can always draw a little curve inside. Always just draw them like this to make them really fluffy. Or well, in my old style I used to just from the top do them around like that. That's any way you feel like doing it really. I'm just gonna draw this is my new way of doing it. Just doing a little bit of fluff. And then at the top here just go around as well to add a bit more three D ishness face <laughs> to the to ear. Right. And then I always draw some a little bit of fluff here to just to stop the direction from the head to the ear. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off the symmetry ruler and then draw this this bit of hair that I always draw. The fluff, the fluff. So I will start behind one one ear, and then same again. More zigzags of fur. Again, you can draw it as fluffy as you like. I will, and then start. I will stop just above this line here. And then if the hair's gone over any parts of the ear, I'll just erase it as well. So yes, that's how I draw wolf heads. <laughs> draw the eyes back in. There we go. I didn't want to copy that, that's what I was wondering. Okay, there we go. And then we've got a side. And front and I might sh um make these eyes a little bigger as well so don't feel like it's still in the face which I'm gonna do just really quick there we go that feels better 
there we go so that's how I draw front ways and sideways and then I'm going to go on to the body now now just a little warning ahead of time I don't use any like circles or grid lines for the body I've always just drew it um, just by memory I guess but I'm going to try explain it as best I can so for now I'm just going to delete delete these we don't really need them at the moment. And then I'm just going to copy this onto a different thing so I can keep it for later. There we go. And just so I can save it for later and I can raise this bit. And there we go. I've still got it for reference. Put in another layer. Right. Again, if anyone has any questions, please just ask. Um. Right. So for the body, I always start with the neck. So I will start around the middle area of the chin bit here, and just draw a bunch of zigzag like fur. So just going down, and it always goes as a like a sort of rounded shape. So this is the sort of shape I'm going for, just like a tilde. Is that what it's called? And then is that the right word? Tilde. If it's not, please correct me. <laughs> Again, I know this from memory, so, but yeah, get the idea sort of thing, a little spiral sort of shape, and then follow that down, if that helps. And then I'll move on to the back of the neck, so I usually start where this fluff is. And then do the same sort of thing. But I always go for it like a curve, a curved line. But again, just follow that down. So about halfway between how that is. And then for the start of the leg, draw a shoulder like a shoulder bone sort of area. Where the start of the leg would be, and then if you could, you could draw a little oval to where the leg's going to start if that helps. And I'm just going to lower that down so we can keep that oval shape, and then from there, just pull that oval around, and then you've got the start of the leg, and then that you go down, and then that's a leg. And then small back bit there, elbow, and I was right a bit fluffier. Yeah. And then another down. The marble legs are a bit chunky, so again, you can do any proportion that you would like. Thank you. Honestly, the wolf front base has always been like a really big struggle for me. Like, if you look at any of my really old animations, they look absolutely terrible <laughs> compared to any side ones I did. I just could not draw a wolf front face, and it was so hard. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink this up and do pa the pause in a second. I just wanna focus on the body at the moment. So I'll just go over this way again. So I think my art block has kicked in because this is not like the best I've done. <laughs> there we go. Just lower it to pet again. And then for the other leg, again, just on the other side, so there we go. Right, 
and then for the back I would go from in between the fur and the shoulder bit just a tiny bit of a curved line and then down for where the butt area is <laughs> okie dokie so again just a tiny bit of a curve straight and down And then this is where your tail would be as well. So from there, my tail would start. Okay, I'm just going to shrink this down. Just so I can do pulls and stuff. There we go. I might make the head just a little bit bigger. Might definitely go over this a bit later. <laughs> now, back legs are terrible. <laughs> again, it's something I really struggle with, so I'm just going to draw some grid lines again. Oops. Even though I did say I didn't use them, I, I didn't really use them, but I think it's best if you do use them sometimes. Nice. And then from that circle, just do a little curve, and then at the end of the curve, do a diagonal down, and that's how the back of the wolf leg should be. You know, not on there for where the floor will stop. I think that's about right. And then I'm going to draw a little curve down. There we go. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> So this is like the belly area, and then from there, that's where the legs start. You can make that a bit chunkier if you wanted to, or thinner. Make the eraser smaller. <laughs> so that's sort of how the back leg is. It's really quite awkward because we've got this at the top of the foot area here. That sort of always goes inwards. Now if I draw this properly. In the butt area. It's around this circle grid line that I drew. Down, then down. There we go. Then draw this bit. Okay, if that makes sense. And you can join up the belly here. Bellies always start a bit thicker and go in a bit. Depending on how skinny or chunky you OCRs. Make sure a little bit chunkier than that. There we go. Then you draw an inside leg just following that. This that you've drawn here. Well, you don't have to really. I mean, I'm just drawing this just from <laughs> looking. There we go. And then that's the other leg. And then you can go ahead and just draw a tail. And just draw a tail really quick. So tails, really easy. Tails are just you can be unique to the OC. So just draw your little tail. <laughs> you can do a really big chunky one. It's up to you. But I'm just going to draw one tail. So it's just a bunch of zigzags and fluffers, and then you can make it as fat or as chunky as you want. You want you get the point here, and go around, and we draw some little extra bits of stuff because tails are floofy. Now I'm going to do feet. So feet I always do a sort of this sort of shape grid line. Uh, just a semicircle. To show where the feet are going to be. Now I'll only show it on one foot, then I'll copy copy over the rest. Okay, from so from a semicircle, this is the bottom of the foot. 
and then you draw it as sort of a, a three quarter angled foot, I guess. And then I'll show you how to draw a, a side with one thing here. Let me just get this ready. So, there we go. Now, I usually start just almost in the middle. Maybe it's like a third inward to the semicircle. Then you can just go straight up. And then a little curve, just like you did with the ear. Down, and then around, back down. And that'll be one, like, toe segment segment. And then I would do a little rounded bit where the, the full pad would be. And there you go, that's one. Picked out. And then following that, another curve where the bottom is. Up, around, down. Same way you just did that other one. And then you get the little toe next. Look, that's a little curve round and down. Just make sure your foot's joined up. And then you can, you can draw the little one there if you wanted to. Again, little curve round, down, join there with the little, little curve again. And just going through this bit one. Again. There we go, make that a little bit more flat. I hope I'm making sense so far. So that's how I draw a foot, even though it's like that, which doesn't hurt. I might just change that a little bit. And just make it so. There we go. There we go. I think I've drawn that a bit too big, but uh, it's the same sort of premise. Just shrink that down a little tiny bit. There we go. So that's a three quartered foot. Now for the side one, I just do a line at the bottom. Yeah. Go diagonal, tiny little diagonal up, even round, and then back down, joining up to this line here. Uh, that's a bit more diagonal than that. So are we? Right, a bit more diagonal, round, down. And then just a little bit in with that, same again, but a little smaller. There we go, a little more terrible, make it bigger. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my art block is actually kicking in. There we go, just make that a little bigger. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Now, because I'm lazy, and I will admit, admit it, I'm going to copy and paste you to the other feet. Because, again, I'm not really changing it much. So there's one. Also because it's like half ten at night. <laughs> so I'm cheating a little bit. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm going to be downloading this one anyway and um, editing it before I go to before I upload it properly, so it might be up properly tomorrow. I'll keep this live stream up until then, obviously, but I'll make it a better ready to version so it makes more sense. There we go, join them together. And neaten it up a tiny bit. I hate that little detail. Oh no. There we go. Now, front feet have t like a fifth toe as well, so that's why I've left a bit of a gap here to show. So, because a wolf has a, I've got a fifth toe, this bit just goes in a little bit. 
to show this how much peel down the legs, peel inward a bit, make it grow, and down to the foot. There we go. I'm just making this up. There we go. Do the same again on the old one. So there we go. There's there's your wolf. Just gonna close that red line and then just pull this one up. Now I'm just gonna redo this to make a bit more stiffness. That's just for the OC. I just wanted wanted to be more fluffy. <laughs> So again, I'm going down and doing this Matilda sort of shape, not like that, sort of Tilda, like that. Now we should do a lot of zigzag loops. So there we go, there's, there's your wolf. Now you can always glue that leg just sticking up just a little bit. And you can curve that in so it make it like a little belly area. Again, this is not my best at all. <laughs> this is a half ten at night sort of drawing. After a long day with a child. So, <laughs> you excuse me a tiny bit. Just going to make some correction. Make this leg a little longer. And there we go. Now it's just for extra detail as well, I always add extra fur here, like a, I don't know why, I just, I just do, and then I always put it onto the leg, so it hides the top bit of the leg. So, well, there you have it, sort of. I mean, the feet don't look particularly good, but <laughs> I tried. And then from there, just add any sort of, you know, well, anything you like, really. Just give her wings if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to draw wings, but I can't draw wings. <laughs> but I, I would say if you did draw wings, they would go about here. And then, I guess like that. This is my terrible wing drawing. <laughs> there you go, she now has wings. <laughs> so yeah, so whatever you like to do. I might I'm gonna turn this into a base anyway, like a free base to use, which I'll put on my Discord so you can use it. You can turn it into a ref sheet or anything. I'm gonna sign it as well, so if anybody does use it, please keep my signature on because it is my line art. Um but yeah. I'm gonna finish this off in, in private, I think. Just so we can get it, get the OC done. But yeah, that's how I draw my walls, and I hope that helps. If anybody has any questions, um, please let me know in the comments. So yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me. And if you have like drawn along with me, please show me in Discord or upload your own video of yourself drawing. And tag me in, tag me in on Instagram. I use Instagram a lot, so if you do use it, let me know. I would love to see. Okay, so thank you everybody. I'm gonna get off bed now, I think. <laughs> right, thanks guys. Bye bye.